Hey y'all, welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. My name is Kara. And my name is Christopher, and we are a furniture flipping family located deep in the heart of Texas. Today, we are so excited to be a part of the YouTube challenge with 22 other furniture flippers. We have each been given the challenge of taking $100 and applying it towards our paint supplies and the project piece with hopes of creating a unique piece that each of us will then flip for a profit. We have chosen to do a DIY, an old fashioned dresser from the 1980s and bring it up to the 2021's newest fad, mid-century modern furniture flipping. We are flipping this boring 1980s dresser into a beautiful MCM media cabinet with a really fun color twist. It's gonna be runway ready for any stylish home. So come along with us to the garage and we'll show you how it's done. So our starting point is a 1980s dresser that we're going to turn into an MCM mid-century modern media cabinet by the end. But I'm going to take all the hardware off. I'm going to reuse the hardware, but I need to give it just a bit of a facelift and clean the piece really well. The bottom of the dresser had this really dated base on it that definitely screamed, I'm from the 1980s. So that had to go in order to give this guy a facelift and bring it up to MCM furniture. So we are taking off the base. We were hoping that this curved bottom part was attached to the dresser, but lo and behold, it was attached to the base. So when we took the base off, we had to figure out how to get this curved portion back onto the dresser. So we reattached some of the little blocks that were holding the original base in place, and this did the trick. When we reattached the base part, there was a line in the bottom from where the two pieces of wood would have connected. And it looks fine when you have furniture that's not painted, but when it's painted, your eye is drawn to that line. So I'm taking some clear silicone caulking that is paintable and putting it into that line and then I'll just smooth it out with my finger so that it lays flat. Next, I need to clean the piece. I like to use crud cutter to do this. I should have done it before I applied the silicone, but it's been dry for about three days now. It took me a while to be able to get back to this project. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the piece with crud cutter and wipe it down with some warm water and then wipe off all the crud cutter with some warm water afterwards to make sure that it's all removed. This piece was already really clean from the original owner, so there wasn't a whole lot to do. I just needed to just get off any extra dust from being in my garage and then it's ready Ready to go. After I've got the piece cleaned and dry, I'm going to use a 220 grit sanding pad and go over the piece with my surf prep sander just to make sure that it's roughed up a little bit so my chalk paint will adhere nicely. Oh, 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 oh. 
It is almost time to paint. I'm gonna paint this with the drawers in. I'm gonna tape off just this little part right here so I don't get a whole lot of overspray from my gun. And I'm gonna go back and hand paint this strip when I'm all done. For this piece, I chose the color Reddened Earth by Sherwin-Williams. It's in their chalk paint formula. I'm going to add this into my gravity-fed HVLP sprayer and we are ready to go. I'm going to use a fine grit sanding sponge in between each coat of paint just to help knock off any uneven surfaces on the top and the sides so everything's nice and smooth. I've been a big fan lately of Helmsman Spar Urethane, a Minwax product. I like to use that as a top coat on all my pieces and every piece that's going to be used in some way that might possibly have water or glasses on top of it like a media cabinet might, I am going to put at least three coats. We decided to add these really awesome MCM type legs to the base of this piece of furniture just to bring it up to date a bit. I got these from Amazon and I'll leave the link in the comment section below if you're interested in ordering those. Now it's time to bring that hardware up to speed. I used Rust-Oleum Metallic Flat Gold just to help update these a little bit and set these off nicely against that terracotta color that we used for the cabinet.
Okay, y'all, before the big reveal, let's break down the numbers on this piece. We picked up the dresser for the bargain price of $30, $22 was spent on the paint, and $12 for the paintbrush that I would have used if we didn't have a spray gun. 24 bucks on those project legs, and we purchased those from Amazon, and I'll leave the link in the comments below if you're interested in picking up a pair of those. $9 on the spray paint for the hardware, and that puts us in at a total of $99. Woo! Right under that $100 mark. So we listed the piece for $700, and I will add that we are in the Dallas area, and anything that's labeled MCM is white hot right now. Yeah. And I must totally admit that I shed a tear when we slid that last drawer in. This has been my favorite piece that we've done so far. We should add that we listed this last weekend and it sold in only one day. Were you surprised how quickly it sold? Actually, not to be biased, but you know what? This ended up turning out so beautiful. I think yeah. the colors that we used yeah. were just perfect for it and the legs. The way after we put the legs on and it just looks perfect yeah it did can i quickly mention that we have also joined the buy us coffee app so many people have asked how you can help support our channel and that is so awesome so we've started the buy me coffee app where you can click on the link in the description box below to send us a cup of coffee because hey coffee really helps mm -hmm. when you're up late at night painting furniture or editing videos. Each person who donates a cup of coffee will get a special mention in our video at the end of each month. So if you are interested, hop on down to the comment section below and click that link to buy us a coffee cup of coffee a big thank you from us for even asking how to support us that is so awesome you guys so we really really appreciate it be sure to head on over and check out the other fabulous furniture flippers in this 100 dollars youtube challenge we will attach the link to this video and all the other channels participating and they will also be listed in the comments give them a like and subscribe while you're there hit the notification bell for our channel so you can join us next week here on Lemons, Lemons to Lemonade. lemonade.